What the f So I wanted to show you guys the newest Escalade I picked up to add to my collection. This is a 2002 uh, regular wheelbase, six liter all wheel drive, which is, I wouldn't say super uncommon, but most of the O2s were five, three, two wheel drives, at least down this way in South Florida. So to find a six liter all wheel drive O2, pretty rare. This is a two owner vehicle, uh, me being the third um, and the second owner who I bought it from owned it pretty much since it was new. He bought it with maybe you know, 15,000 miles on it when it was a year and a half old. And it's been very well maintained, if you couldn't tell by the condition of it, uh, the paint work. It's always been garaged. Up in Real nice shape. I know a lot of you are going to say, oh, buff out the headlights. I'll get to that. I, I can't find my buffing kit. I have a real good one around here somewhere. Again, you can see perfectly straight body, excellent paint work. The rims are in great shape. I always love these O2 wheels. They're the more uh, satin finish versus the uh, chrome because the chrome always peels. I know they're a little dirty. I drive the hell out of this thing. I bought this over a month ago. Um, what's wrong? Do you want to step on the poop? Uh, I stepped in the cat poop there. Uh, great tires on all around. Hand cooks all around with great tread. Uh, the fronts are brand new. Basically, these, you know, there's rotating them, obviously. 218,000 miles in this truck. Uh, you never know it looking at the condition of it. I've got the 04 over here, another regular wheelbase one. Uh, 213,000 miles on that one. If you haven't seen the video, uh, go look back on my channel around July. That's when I picked that truck up. Uh, that one I bought for 1400. It did have a rebuilt transmission that was done that year, and that transmission's still holding up great. It was obviously rebuilt well. It shifts excellent, no issues there. Uh, the air was Luke, it was kind of it was cool on this truck when I bought it. I topped off the Freon. Now it's ice cold. Uh, changed the rear tires and did some interior work. That truck's been great, but the paintwork on that truck, it's uh, a little spotted from the sun. I think this truck was repainted at some point. It wasn't repainted well, and I like nice paint jobs, and that's tough down here. So when I found this truck, the sun setting on it over here, beautiful, beautiful paintwork. Just some little scuffs here, a little dirt, but... Uh, the interior as well again this guy really took great care of it it wasn't abused or, or ran through the hood like my other one it's in really really nice shape this interior i always like the o2 seats uh not so much the style of them i like the o3 to 06 seats appearance wise more but this leather holds up a lot better and this 218,000 mile seat doesn't lie uh, it's really held up well and the dashboard everything's in great great shape being an O2, it doesn't have the nav screen, but it does have the bows, of course. One of the things I love about the O2s is that it doesn't have the dual zone climate control, which is just one more thing to break. The blend doors always get jammed up. You get heat blown out of one side, cold out of the other. I had that issue with my ESV over there. Um, fortunately, again, this O4, I really have this truck sorted out. I'm not into it for much. I'm into it for under two grand. I don't know. I like having the O2. It's a little bit different. There's some quirks and features, as a famous YouTuber would say. They're slightly different from the O3 to O6s, but I like that. The cluster is different. I don't know if you can see that at all. The steering wheel is different. This is the older style GM wheel. Uh, the O3 and up's got the little bit fancier looking airbag. You've got the uh, power fold mirror button here. I like it way more here. And the O3 to O6, it's integrate it into this switch and you have to push it down a certain way and then press it um, I like this placement more I also like the heated seat controls in this truck better it's much more simple um, it's just you know click click boom the air one's got all these different buttons and uh, the heating pads always fail in the 03 to 06s uh, they don't fail in these trucks not nearly as often at least that's what I've found um, like I said I love that it's not dual zone climate control it's one less headache uh, it is nice when you have the, the other one because it's got the little screen versus the knobs. It's, you know, it's a little more high-end looking, but again, this is uh, fail-proof. And at 218,000 miles, this still works great. Of course, the Bose radio works great. These do not get the um, Bulgari clock. 
however you pronounce it. The O2s get this, it's almost a little sporty looking. It doesn't really have the luxury look that the O3 and up clock does. But again, I like to have something different from my other two Escalades. So the information center on the O2s is down here and the O3s and up, it's up here, um, which I like it more here. Steering wheel controls in the O2, I really don't like the placement on the O3 to O6. It's actually built into this part of the wheel. It's a little bit thicker on those trucks. Uh, this is very unnatural when you're driving. You have to like reach in almost like a paddle shifts. I don't like the placement of these so much. Again, I could change the wheel and stuff if I wanted to, I'm sure, but it's nice to have a difference. I don't know, I just like the, the quirkiness, the difference factor. This I love, the O2s have pop open this little uh, glove box here in the center and obviously you have your storage here too and the O3 and up this is just a solid piece and you open this and the O2s one thing that I absolutely love about them over the O3 and up is that you have so many different power ports you get the cigarette lighter port here you get two right back here in easy access oh, typical GM right there and you still have the one in here which uh, my O3s and up and they only have this one and this one. They have ones here too, but they're way further down. This is a nice, easy to reach for the driver's spot. I don't think, I'm 99% sure that my O3s and up, I should just say the O4s, I have two O4s, but uh, you know, O3 to O6 era trucks don't have a lock for the glove box. Uh, whereas the O2 does, which is crazy to me because the Suburbans, and the Tahoes and stuff have the lock. Uh, but the Escalades, which, you know, the most expensive one, you'd think the guys that have money ever bought these new, you want to be able to lock what you have in here. They didn't put a lock. I don't know why. On the newer trucks. Uh, you get your rear controls here. It does not have the auxiliary option that the, um, that the O3 and up has. You know, the O3s and up have a control here for the back seats. I have to control for the back seat passengers. But this being the regular wheelbase, I'm not really shuttling people around this thing anyway. If I got people and I'm going somewhere, I'm going to take the ESV uh, with the captain's chairs. And it's got the rear DVD and all that. Also, something about the O2s I've explained in previous videos. The wood trim in these trucks, it never falls off like the O3 and ups do. The O3s might have had the same one, I, I forget, but I know it, in O4 for sure, O4 to O6, they changed the um, little rods that hold these into the door panel from uh, little metal threaded bolts to plastic. And of course they break off. These ones, again, 218,000 miles, granted a well cared for truck, but uh, they've held on there perfectly fine. So I always love that about these trucks. I think it's kind of cool, the dashboards on these, Instead of having this wood trim up here, it's the same color as a dash and it says Cadillac, which is cool. The air trucks just have wood strip there. Again, something a little bit different. But like I was saying before, uh, the information center on these trucks uh, is here instead of being up integrated in the cluster. And I like that a lot because I sit, I'm sure you can see the way I'm sitting right now. I sit pretty far back, you know, as a Cadillac guy, we like to lounge and cruise. And it's much easier for me to see, you know, the fuel economy I'm getting, the if I'm running the time or whatever I'm running information wise over here and to just boom, bang, hit these little buttons. Whereas on the newer trucks, it's up here. And the way I sit, my steering wheel kind of blocks out that little screen. So I like it down here more. Uh, in the 03 to 06, this is just a little wood door. It pops up. It's extra storage, which is nice. And this is all wood. Whereas in this truck, you got this, you know, gray around it. I don't know. It's cool to have it a little bit different. Uh, let you can see the headliner, perfect shape. All the windows, sunroof, everything works. He really took care of this truck. The AC is ice cold. Uh, I got thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of service history paperwork. I got a stack back there like this big. Whatever this truck needed, he took it in to the Cadillac dealership. He didn't care what it cost. Uh, and I bought it for 1300 bucks. He's buying a new one. It's the reason he got rid of it. And he, um, spends most of his time out in LA now, so he just didn't need the truck around here anymore. He headed up on Craigslist for 2700 You guys know me, uh, I wasn't paying that, so I haggled him down. That was the best I could get him down to was 13, and it's worth that all day. There's nothing wrong with this truck at all. It's, it's perfect mechanically, it's almost perfect cosmetically. A couple chips in the windshield, but he said those have been there since uh, he was living in Boston like 12 years ago, so obviously they haven't grown. And uh, there's no rust underneath, despite the comment I just made. Spotless. It's, it's even cleaner than my ESV, which is a Florida truck, too. Spotless underneath. 
Uh, he already changed out the uh, always failing uh, air shocks in the back. He put in just conventional, they're nice and smooth. Uh, no issues with that. I do have the service uh, ride system warning. And that's the problem with these O2 clusters. Uh, it's got the, just like my Sierra over there, it's got the little message center here as opposed to being down here. And with the newer trucks, you can just hit the little back button and clear the warning for the ride system. This truck, you can't. You gotta kind of fool the system, which I haven't done that yet. But um, let's take a look at the back seat. I've got both sets of keys for this truck. The other one's like brand new. It's got all the writing and the keys still. And uh, the keyless entry works. So here's the back seat. Uh, this is a bench seat truck. I don't have, ca my other two trucks have the captain's chairs. Again, nice to have something different. Um, especially with a smaller truck like this. I do have the back seats in this, but no DVD. Uh, I believe that was 03 and up. Uh, you got the, um, the old school radio hookup here so the kids can put the headphones in. Heated seats in the rear. Cup holder right here. I can't believe this isn't broken off like most of these trucks are. Again, nice quality leather in these trucks. It really holds up better than the 03 and up. And this all folds flat if you wanted to. Uh, you know, not much to say about the third row. It is what it is. Besides it being in great condition, still has the Pine Belt Cadillac dealer sticker. I think this truck was bought in New Jersey, new, and came to Florida pretty much right afterwards where the second owner that I bought it from picked it up. Third row seats, I've got them folded flat. I don't think I'm going to go through the headache of pulling them up. Well, it's not that bad, just lever up, but there they are. Um, again, it's in great shape. Carpet's in nice shape. Very clean truck. Uh, couldn't be happier with it. Zero mechanical issues whatsoever. No misfires, no transmission slips, original transmission. Uh, these trucks, if you take care of them, if you change a transmission fluid once in a while, I mean, you should do it every 30,000 miles, but I've owned enough of these things over the years. I found that it, as long as somebody changed the fluid once or twice, uh, the transmissions hold up. And 218,000 miles, that transmission is shifting perfectly and it's never been rebuilt, never been replaced. The fluid needs to be changed again. It's getting dark, but again, zero issues with the shifting. Whereas this truck, which was, uh, if you watch the video I did on, you can tell this truck spent some time in the ghetto. Uh, obviously wasn't taken care of, had to have the transmission rebuilt. My ESV was a one owner um, from South Florida as well. Old guy, took really good care of it besides hitting everything but the lottery with it. And, uh, <laughs> and that transmission, that truck's only got 100, I don't know, like 164,000 miles on it. Now I bought a real low mileage, like 130, but um, that truck's still shifting fine too. So again, a fluid change or two here or there, these transmissions will last. Uh, even if you tow a lot with them, which I tow that thing almost every week, uh, you know, heavy, heavy loads and transmission's still perfect. So you can make these transmissions last. All about maintenance and where you buy them from. If you buy them from the hood, don't expect the thing to last. You buy it from a rich guy that owned it for years, it's gonna last. The backup sensors still work. Surprisingly, they do on my, on my ghetto laid over there. They do not work on my ESV, which drives me nuts. It's probably the one that I would like them to work on because it's longer. Um, you can't see as well when you're backing up as you can with this one. So. Uh, obviously, I said it in the video, the plan is to sell the 04 over here. Um, I don't need to have two of the same truck. Granted, they're a little bit different. The 04's got different options. It's got the DVD in the back and stuff, but this truck's in better shape. So another key difference, keyword key, that I actually just noticed is that this button back here for this window and the passenger door have keyholes. And the, I presume, 03 and up, at least my 04s, no keyhole on the passenger side and no keyhole on that button for the back, on the button for the back glass. So that's pretty neat. I, uh, I certainly like having the extra keyholes. I understand that it's not as flush for what they were going for when they, you know, went up in the model years, but uh, it's nice to have because if your clicker ever dies, you're going to open the door on the passenger side, you don't have to go all the way around. I've been doing that with this truck for a long time because the clicker's dead. Uh, I dropped it in water, it's shot. So just a quick look at the 04 interior uh, for those who don't know. Again, the seats are different. They're a little more sporty. They're not that big wide seat. And this is a little more bolstered. Um, you see, mine's in pretty good shape, the interior, but it's got a lot less miles. It's got 160, whatever it was, 164. Steering wheel is much nicer looking in this truck. You got the steering wheel controls here. These control the information center, which I was telling you is up here. 
as opposed to over here. See how instead you have the little door? This is all wood. You got this Bulgari, Bulgari, that's what it is. You got the Bulgari clock, which is much nicer looking. A CD changer's in the same place. Digital climate control. It's much more fancy looking, but again, uh, way more failure with these than the traditional knobs. Got the DVD nav screen here, uh, which I like that a lot. Maybe I'll rig one up for the O2, but probably not. I like having the OEM radio in there. You can see this is clean. There's no buttons here because they moved them up here, which I guess really wasn't necessary because they're not using this for anything. Okay. I've got the auxiliary control here. I do this and the rear passengers can control the AC or heat in the back. Got the rear DVD in this truck. You can see the cluster is different. Uh, I like the look of this cluster a little bit more. It's a little more uh, simple and fancy, but I don't mind the one in the O2. Um, also, the O2, at least mine, does not have HIDs. Uh, both the O4s do. I love having HIDs, so I'll probably change the O2 out. It better be aftermarket, obviously, but put some HIDs in that truck. Uh, I just think they need it. It looks weird with the yellow halogens. And if you look here, like I was telling you, no lock and no uh, extra little console here. Um, so they kind of rip you off with that. But, you know, otherwise, pretty much the same truck. I like having the two different ones that I've said a million times. And then when you get a platinum one of this era, a second gen platinum, which I scored at the junkyard a couple weeks ago. Jesus, it's a duck. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Uh, I scored at the junkyard a few weeks ago uh, platinum cup holders, which are heated cooled. I'm going to rig them up and put them in this truck. It's, it's complicated, but you can do it. Uh, the platinums are really well appointed. They have the perforated leather uh, all the way up, uh, you know, all the way down. Much nicer seat, much nicer door sills here. They got the nice chrome. It says Cadillac. You've got third row DVD. The back seats are just as uh, fancy as these. Uh, with the full, uh, you know, perforated porous leather, whatever it is, um, you have heated cooled seats. Uh, so a lot, a lot more options than a platinum. That's what I really want. I've been looking for a nice one forever. They just don't come up often. People will have them, keep them. All right, we'll take it for a quick drive. Nothing exciting. You know, it's not like it's a muscle car or something with the sounds and the experience, but why not, right? So I'll show you she fires right up. Boom. You can see right here, we got the information center. I got it on driver two, it's just the seat setting. Just like the newer Escalades, the O3s and up, we've got the one, two. Um, tells you the fuel info, remaining, average economy. Uh, if you do a lot of highway driving, this number gets as high as 15. I use this truck primarily in town. I drive my ESV more on the highway. Uh, so, you know, on that truck, I see an average of 14. This one, 12.6, which isn't bad when you think about it. Six liter all-wheel drive, full time. Uh, I believe with these trucks, the ratio for the all-wheel drive is 80% power to the back, or maybe it's 70, 70, 30 it might be. Something like that. It's not 50-50. Um, AC, like I said, ice cold, simple as that. Turn the knob, it's on, no crazy computer here. Got the park aid, the stability track, which is the uh, traction control. The OnStar stuff is, this is another difference between the O2 and the uh, newer trucks. The OnStar buttons are here as opposed to, I think they're on the mirror in my other trucks. Uh, I got the home link up here, etc. So let's go for a quick drive here. Again, it's not gonna blow you away or anything like that. I can put the uh, timer on. Let's see, if I hit uh, the on button, there it goes. Vehicle history. This has some pretty cool options that the 03 and up does not. Uh, it might have vehicle, I don't know. I never really dig that much through the all the options on the newer trucks, because I don't like, it's a pain in the neck, it's up here. This one, it's, uh, let's see here, let's see what it tells us. Oof. <laughs> Apparently I was going 83 miles an hour on uh, January 20th. Wait a minute. What the heck's today? January, January 19th, 2020. Yeah, but what's today? The oh, 19th, that's today. The 19th. Yeah. <laughs> yep, so today, there you go. Uh, guilty as charged is doing an average of 83 miles an hour for 171 miles. Uh, this was yesterday. Average of 29 miles per hour. I only went a mile. Look at that. I must have just went down the street. Kind of creepy how this thing uh, stalks me a little bit, huh? 
all about that. We got uh, on uh, the 16th, I went zero miles an hour. For, I must have just moved it around the driveway. So that's pretty cool. It tells you the vehicle history. Uh, before I give anything else away about my personal life, let's keep looking. Uh, annual mileage log. Look at that. Unbelievable. So this year, this truck had only 1,200 miles put on it. I think it, that means like so far. Have I already put 1,200 miles in this thing since Probably. January 1st? Yeah. Unbelievable. Because this is all calibrated correctly. The, the right date and everything. So I've already, I've already put 1,200 miles in this truck since January 1st. Business trip, 100%. I'm always on business. Everybody knows that. Uh, what else we got here? Yeah, we got nothing. Get the personal trip computer, business trip computer, a lot of cool features. Uh, very cool quirks. Got a menu button here. You can change the door locks, do whatever they got to do. Um, all sorts of things you could change here. Every time I play with that, I mess something up, so I'm going to make it go away. You get the instant fuel economy. Uh, which don't expect to get too excited over those numbers if you care about fuel economy they're usually not very high but actually today uh at one point of my drive i was doing where i wasn't doing 83 miles an hour i was averaging about 18 miles a gallon so pretty good see the clock lights up there you go that's the truck uh it could pick up to it you know it's right. 365 horsepower i think it's around 400 foot pounds of torque so all the power you need um Excellent brakes in this truck. The brakes were done recently all around. So turnkey, you can see the numbers don't lie. I've already put just since January 1st. I bought this truck in early December, 1,200 miles on it. It's needed absolutely nothing. All right, so here is that six liter. Uh, the O2s had this cool uh, cover. It said exclu engineer exclusively for Cadillac, which is uh, maybe in O2 that was true, but certainly uh, by O3, you started seeing this engine and other GM trucks. You know, the, three quarter tons and stuff but uh cool cover i like that it's got the cadillac logo you look at my other trucks they don't have that it just says vortex 6000 most of the ac systems been replaced in this truck water pump all the usual fail items on these escalades uh, have been done um batteries pretty recent again this was a turnkey truck even with the higher mileage i i say this in almost all my videos i never shy away from high mileage vehicles what matters more to me is maintenance I usually end up going for the high mileage vehicles because you find the ones like this, the, the you know, low owners, rich guy, uh, everything's been changed by this point. You know, everything's new parts, steering, suspension, water pumps, whatever. It's all been done. So I think that's going to do it for the video. I just wanted you guys to get a look at this truck. You see a lot of Escalade content on my channel. Uh, they're all very similar at the end of the day, these second gens, but, uh, this one, again, has some differences from the 03s to 06s, and uh, my boy Flacco here likes it. So uh, anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for the next one.